for the serious gamer. Hey, next on Tactics, it's Guns for Hire, and this is a battleground assessment on World at War Roundhouse. This is where I try and explain um, basically my thoughts when I'm going through this game and uh, why I choose to go in certain directions or what I'm thinking when I'm going through. And again, this is a little bit difficult unless I'm recording it as I'm playing, but for the most part, even when I watch, I think the exact same way, so it's easy for me to sort of figure that stuff out. All right, first things first, and I know some of you guys, um, you know, some of you, a lot of you actually hate the tanks. And you know what? I'm not terribly fond of them myself. However, they are in the game. And because they're very, very powerful, very difficult to take out and can wreak havoc on any, everyone, you must, as a smart thing to do in any of these games, other than getting stuck like a noob like I just did there, even if you use them, even if you're just going to blow them up, bl use them and blow them up. Do not, I repeat, do not allow the enemy to get a hold of these things. Because if you do not actually go into one of these tanks, they will. And then they're going to wreak havoc on you. That's when you're going to hate it. So even if you absolutely hate the tanks, who cares? Get them in there. Go like right for the enemy. Who cares? Get it blown up. Maybe you die. Maybe you get three kills and, and then you get blown up to smithereens who cares you know what i mean three kills one death not a big deal you know what i mean your death should not mean a lot but make sure you do not allow the enemy to take uh control i'm gonna actually show you a video uh how to properly uh utilize the tank as well because you can get a lot of like i said i mean they're very powerful so you can get a lot of kills but there are other tricks that you can use the tanks for that will enable you to get uh considerably more kills now, you can see it's red. It's almost ready to go. I don't care. I'll stay in this thing until it actually blows up, until the enemy gets hit. Is it here? Almost. Getting close. Getting close. <laughs> this thing's almost ready to go. Uh, but as I said before, and you can use it to assist your teammates. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, you want the team to win. So use it to trap or to hold in uh, the enemy. Generally, what happens is the enemy, and I use this, uh, you'll see it after, I'll use it to my advantage. The enemy is generally not scared of a tank because tanks are pretty slow. Uh, and you can, you know, I can dance around and skate around a tank easily unless someone's in the gunner position. Um, but generally, you know, it's tanks are slow, they're not that really scary. People that know how to use them properly, they can be quite deadly. Uh, and I'll give you a couple of tips. Uh, on how to use them properly so that you can wreak havoc as well but as i said before get in one of the tanks i don't care if you hate them if you think it's noobish you either get in there and use it or you end up getting blown up by an artillery shell now battleground assessment in roundhouse almost everybody sticks to the perimeter the only time that they go through the middle is if they're an extremely aggressive team uh or they're seeing like these guys like i said before they're not generally scared i think i get a double here ah uh, yeah there we go so now it's finally dead who cares you know what five kills tanks out of the way now i don't have to worry about it um if there's another one again i'll grab it sometimes i'll actually even get in a tank and purposely look down and hunt down the other tanks and blow them up i don't care because if my teammates aren't in it oh i think that was a triple if my teammates aren't going to go in it, I'll be damned if I'm going to let the enemy get in it and wreak havoc. So I will purposely use the tank to blow up the other tanks and then I don't care. And it gets rid of them and then you can get out and have a little bit of fun here. Now we're going to go through a bit of... Uh, the strategy is good, uh, but I do get owned quite a few times in a row here before I start getting on my own little killing spree. Always pick up weapons. In World at War, you got your handgun and, and while I, you can be fast with them... You know, if you come across uh, an MP40 or a Type 100 or anything for that matter, it's best to switch it up. Unless your two weapons are going to be two sniper weapons, you do want, like, that handgun. You want something for close quarter. Anyway, you'll notice what I'm doing here is kind of the same that I always do. It's not necessarily where the red dots are. I mainly focus on where my teammates are. I look at where the green is rather than looking for red because you're only going to see one red once in a while and chances are if you're seeing red you know they could end up easily getting killed and spawn somewhere else and the where they're going to spawn if you're looking at this map is opposite of where your team is there we go 
That's why the handgun is nice. You can really, I mean, if you've got a good trigger finger uh, or you're a little cheapskate and you got uh, a turbo controller or whatever, um, you know, the, the, ha the handguns can actually be very, very effective. Um, but whatever, I don't really care. Turbo controllers, I mean, they're a pain in the ass because they make guns like the M1A1 carbine absolutely ridiculously deadly. I mean, I'm I'm pretty fast with it myself, but when you have someone with a, a, a good turbo on that thing, oh my god, that's annoying. So as you're going to see here again, I look to see where the green is. Who cares Be, if they have silencers? Who cares where they're firing? I'm not concerned where the front lines are. I'm concerned where my teammates are. And this is the area where I'm going to get owned a few times. And the friggin' dogs are out. Chewing on, chewing on uh, parts of my body that I wish I had still intact. But those dogs, they do like large bones, so they tend to like me. You know what I mean? Or that's just my ego. Oh, when the dogs are out, um, it's dog killing time. Concentrate on killing those puppies. Don't give these guys any more kills. The dogs can easily tear you up, so I concentrate. Honestly, I concentrate on... Well, they, the knifing, by the way, is not the easiest in this game. Uh, but I do concentrate on killing the dogs because they can really turn a game uh, and flip it around easily for you. So my con I concentrate on putting down the little puppies. Yes, I'm a puppy killer. Okay, so now again, green. You generally don't want... The only time that you're actually going to stay here, and I think there's a point later on in this game uh, where I hold back. Instead of going after, generally... and Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna go around again. See the, the tanks? This is why I, I almost sometimes purposely locate uh, friendly tanks. Especially if that tank is away from um, your teammates. If you see your green teammates on one side of the map, but there's a, one of your friendly tanks deep in enemy territory that's where i'm going you know why it's like it's like the perfect lure it's the perfect lure because generally you're not afraid of it tanks are slow and it, the the rest of the, the the enemy team are gonna swarm that thing they're gonna go around they're gonna try and throw their satchel charges their grenades they're gonna do everything they can to get in close like that guy he sees the tank he wants the tank and they're not scared to come out but unfortunately they don't see us. All they see is the tank. It's easy for them to spot the tank because it lights up like crazy on the screen and it attracts them. It's like a lure. So if you hang around a tank that's away from your main uh, sort of core or whatever, you're going to get a lot of kills. You just got to be a little bit careful. Keep your distance uh, from it, but within, within the relative proximity of the actual tank, believe me, everybody, it's always the same. They always go after it. Anyway, and here's the point that I was trying to tell you before I got distracted by the uh the giant tank lure it's like a rapala or rapala rapala i don't know i'm a fisherman too but i i don't care what you call it it catches fish anyway that's what tanks are tanks are in a friendly tank hang around them you're gonna get some kills now this i sort of hold back the reason why i'm not going away from my team number one i see the uav number two the team seems to be a little PO'd and they're coming fairly aggressively to us see they're coming through the center now they're getting very aggressive um, I'm not sure I think we're losing at this point here so they're feeling uh, momentum it's near the end so they get a little more brave which is their downfall because we turn it around and start winning those dogs really tear it up that's what I'm saying if you don't concentrate on killing dogs you're gonna be in a lot of trouble all right so now we push back we're starting to win uh, especially with the dogs so now it's time to push forward. And you see, I move away from my team. Wherever my green is, that's where I'm moving away from. I want to move away from that because that's where they're going to spawn. Opposite air, where the green is, that's where the enemy's going to spawn. And that's where you're going to spawn trap them. That's where you're going to get your kills from. So don't worry about where the red dots are. Worry about where you're... Oh, do I die here? I don't know. Oh, dog gets him. There you go. Anyway, that's the end. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more uh, Battleground Assessments. I'm Guns for Hire. Peace.